Ladies and gentlemen, Connor, the notorious McGregor. Ding, ding, ding. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler, and this is Scorpio Oxman Channel. Thanks again for joining me today. And so today is July the 14th. It's another mega birthday for a mega star celebrity, Conor McGregor. He is the icon of the UFC, of the Ultimate Fighters Championship uh, League, which has gone since 1993. And uh, uh, so what's amazing, I, I made a decision and I've decided uh, today I'm going to focus on his Chinese astrology. I will show you briefly of his, Va uh, his Austerian astrology or Vedic. Austerian is the Greek version of the Vedic astrology. So I'll show you a little bit of that first. However, what it says about his Chinese astrology is unbelievable. It is unbelievable how accurate the Chinese astrology really is. So I will show you his birth info. Now today, uh, he turns 32 years old today, Conor McGregor. So here is his birth info on astrocharts.com. So as you can see, July the 14th, 1988 at 1.30 a.m. Okay, so here's Mastering the Zodiac. So I'm gonna show you this briefly, but I'll, uh, I'll pro we'll primarily focus on the Chinese astrology for today. So here he is, July the 14th, 1988, 1.30 a.m. in Dublin, Ireland. Okay, so uh, Mastering the Zodiac, uh, by the way, Mastering the Zodiac, it shows the real natural sky as it really is if we were to see it with our own eyes. Uh, so, uh, so therefore, it does look uh, different from the mainstream uh, Western astrology uh, chart or the tropical system, as it's called. So here is Conor McGregor's sun sign. So his, that gold circle is the sun. And of course, the blue crescent here is the moon. What's very interesting about him, uh, uh, Conor McGregor, is his sun and his moon are literally, they're almost in the exact same spot. They're literally one degree apart from one another. And they're both in Gemini, right at the end of the constellation Gemini. So on that date, July the 14th, 1988, the sun and the moon, they were both in Gemini and right at the, right at the end of the actual constellation of Gemini, uh, as it shows right here. And by the way, for those curious of which nakshatra that is, that nakshatra that his sun and moon are in, that is the nakshatra of Ardra. Number six, Ardra. And it's actually his sun and moon. There, it's actually the fourth pot, fourth pot uh, or fourth quarter of Ardra, which is right at the end of Gemini. So that's his, that's his moon sign and his sun sign in Austerian astrology, or according to the real natural sky, um, or Vedic astrology, as it's, uh, as it's called in the Hindu, the Hindu version, or East Indian version. Okay, so that is his sun and moon in the, in the Vedic astrology. So we're going to look at his Chinese astrology, which is amazing. So here, here is the website, uh, Chinese Astrology Fast Love Match. Now, I've already done the calculator. So just to show you here, so here is July the 14, 1988. So... Conor McGregor is Year of the Dragon, 1988. The sign of the dragon is believed by the Chinese to be the most powerful of all the Chinese zodiac animal signs. I believe personally that everything they touch turns to gold. Those who have strong, uh, those who have strong dragon energy in them from their Chinese astrology birth they have a very powerful influence over people, and I believe everything they touch turns to gold. And so that's, that's a way of saying that they, 
they'll have a high tendency to become famous or something of that nature. They're just very, very powerful people. Now, Conor McGregor, he's year a dragon. Uh, I believe more importantly, he's born on day of the metal horse. So he, he's year, as it shows here, he's year of the earth dragon, but he's day of the metal horse. Now, supposedly, the energy of the day is the stronger one than the energy of the year, some believe. And I believe it too, based on my observances. And you could, you could really tell when you read the description of a personality of a certain Chinese sign. And this is when you really know and find out. So, Conor McGregor is born, as you can see right here for the proof, July 14, 1980, July 14, 1988 was day of the metal horse. So let's read the character. You know what? I've changed my mind on something. Let's read the description of the earth dragon first, uh, the personality of the earth dragon first, and then we'll compare them. And then I'll read the one of the metal horse next, and then we'll see which one may be more realistic just to show some proof that the, the energy of the day sign may be stronger than the year, than that of the year sign. So here is, here is the characteristics. Here is the characteristics of the earth dragon. So those born under the sign. So the earth dragon person appears quieter than other types of dragons. They have a large variety of hobbies, and they are always aware of what is going on around them. They are extremely good leaders, and they will not have any trouble getting people on their side when they come up with a new idea. Okay, so that, that part there especially, that sounds a lot like Conor McGregor. Uh, so I'll read on. They are very smart in financial situations, and they will be able to gather considerable wealth. They are very good organizers, organizers, although they can sometimes be a bit fussy. They will always have a large circle of friends. Uh, the dragon in general is a proud and lively person with a never-ending supply of self-confidence. So, and you guys, I'm going to leave the link for the site below for you guys to read on if, um, if you want to read more about it. And so far, so far, it does fit uh, his description to a T. However, I read about the, the characteristics of the metal horse, and this one is amazing what it says. So we're going to get to the metal horse now. So again, this is Conor McGregor's year sign, but now we're going to read about his day sign. And it's pretty amazing. So... Here is the characteristics of the metal horse. Those born, typically those born on a day of metal horse, have strong metal horse energy. This horse, referring to the metal horse, this horse is brave, secure, and upfront. I imagine they're upfront with an iron fist too, if you're Conor McGregor, just saying. They are ambitious and they are great innovators. They love a challenge and take great delight in solving complicated problems. They like to have a certain amount of independence and they resent any outside interference in their affairs. So far, it really sounds like him. The metal horse has charm and a certain personality but they can be very stubborn at times and quite impulsive, especially when it comes to big purchases. And it would do well to spend time for them to spend time researching prices before diving into a big purchase. They usually have many friends and they enjoy an active social life. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit about the information of the horse in general. So the sign of the horse in general. The horse is an extremely lovely person, and they usually have a massive amount of friends and admirers. 
So, and it also says they love to meet new people and will always be at a party or large social gathering as they love being the center of attention. I think that sums up uh, Conor McGregor in a nutshell, what it says here. So this, seeing this and reading this, it definitely makes me believe that the energy of the day sign may be stronger for a person than that of the year um, in some cases. But in this case, I believe it, it is the case for uh, Conor McGregor. So thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, I want to thank my subscribers again. Uh, and we've come a long way. I've had this channel for uh, just over a year right now, as of March of this year. And uh, I've approached, uh, we're approaching 100 subscribers already. So thank you so much, guys, for all your support, all my supporters and, uh, and everyone that's uh, uh, given me a shout and worked with me on this channel. So thanks again, guys, for watching. All the best. And until next time, God bless. Thank you.